Man, this place is a mess. What the? Matt. Hey, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Man, I had like seven. I can't even see you right now. I had what? so many of these the good stuff, bro. Ugh. This is not an alcoholic, Matt. What? Well, I like seven of them, though. I'm actually going to throw up. Ugh. This episode is sponsored by Luke's Wings. Luke's Wings is a military nonprofit that provides complimentary airfare to wounded, ill, and injured servicemen, veterans, and their families during recovery and rehabilitation. Luke's Wings has provided over 14,000 flights to date. Right now, they are running their No Soldier Spends Christmas Alone campaign. The campaign runs to January 10th, and their goal is to provide 500 flights to reunite service members with their loved ones during the holiday season. The average cost of a flight is $350. If you donate $50, you will receive the limited edition Luke's Wings Christmas ornament. If you donate $350, the cost of a flight, you get the ornament and a card that you can keep for yourself or gift to someone that indicates that the ornament represents a soldier that got to be with his family in the holidays because of your donation. Luke's Wings has also partnered with United and Delta Airlines. You can donate your unused airline miles free of charge on their website. Check out some of the stories about soldiers who have been helped by Luke's Wings here. Make the holidays more meaningful by replacing traditional gifts with donations to Luke's Wings and help reunite service members with their families. Go to give.lukeswings.org demolition to learn more about this awesome organization and to donate. Thank you to Luke's Wings for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt. I'm glad that you are here and happy third day of Christmas. On the third day of Christmas, my true love, who is train shot, gave to me a scar. This is a gun that I have wanted forever and I actually don't know why I never have got one. I've shot scars before. They're super fun. This is the Scar Heavy, the Scar 17S. It is chambered in 308 and everyone's seen these guns. They've been around forever. They're in every single video game ever. They're awesome. And we finally, finally got one on the channel. Put a Vortex 1 to 10 on top of it right there. Beautiful scope and I like the color of this thing. Matches with the non-matching colors of the Scar. It's a sick looking rifle. And so today, I thought, let's shoot the scar at what it's meant to be shot at. Eggnog. <laughs> this video makes zero sense. There's a lot of bees over here, and there's about to be a way bunch of more bees, because we're gonna bust all these. We have all this eggnog, plus a whole other table of it. About 50 gallons total of egg. I don't like bees, unless I'm wearing red, does that? They're gonna think I'm a beautiful flower and come land on me. We have a lot of eggnog, and it's because you guys were asking Matt if I was at the grocery store and a bad guy came in, could I hide behind the eggnog? That was on you. That was not. This was not my idea. Um, it was a commenter's. Yeah, it was a commenter's idea, and so I was just doing it for for you. It makes sense because it's Christmas, so we're gonna start small, shoot a small caliber, work our way up to the scar. Giddy up. We have the thunderstruck. Uh, it's an interesting pistol. I also put the bullet in a weird spot, so it's going to have to rotate a little bit. God, this is going to make a mess. Okay, not bad. The way we're going to measure this is how many does go through and how many bees do we have. So far, two bees are flying around this table. Um, one, two. We'll see how many are flying around in a minute. So the bullet there, there, there. It's coming out here. It looks like this is where it, it veered off. So it veered off this way and went out. I don't want to shoot it again with the 22, so we're saying it stopped in the fourth one. So let's shoot some bigger. Next up, we got the Ruger 57, chambered in, as I should show you, the 5.7 by 28. A very fast little round, very tiny but it's freaking booking it. So actually, come check this out real quick. This is where that first one went in, which is kind of interesting. That 22 mag went in right there, and then it started veering out. We'll see what this one does. I'm gonna aim at this one now. Actually, I'm gonna aim low on this one because these still all have it in there. I'm gonna aim low on this one and see what happens when we hit it with a very fast moving, similar sized bullet. This is the worst video. I don't know why you guys recommended this because it was totally y'all. It wasn't something we just made up. You, it was it was definitely you guys. Got on the canopy up there, which is kind of cool. 
it mostly went up. So this is uh, number one, split it wide open. This is number two, looks like a much smaller hole. I actually don't know, did it come out this side? Yeah, so there's a hole going in right there and coming out over here. I don't know where the bullet went after that though because these didn't get hit. It pushed all these way out of the way when those exploded. It actually could still be in here. Uh, it looks like a bullet came out. I got no idea. It makes no sense. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I totally know. It's right, came out, went left. It. Yep. Nine millimeter out of the CZ Scorpion. So a much bigger round this time. We'll see what it does against the eggnog. Take it fire, enemy fire! It hit three. One, two, and then it started curving up. So this stuff is so thick, as you guys know, who have ever tried eggnog, it's super thick stuff. I think it's so thick that it's just gonna like start curving. And all of our bullets so far have curved out. There's three, and then it didn't touch the fourth. I guess we should shoot something faster than a nine millimeter. Yeah, we should do that. Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. So it's about the same size as a nine millimeter, but it's going way faster. Uh, I just put one right in the center there. So I'm gonna try to shoot down the center and see what happens. Oh man, this is, yeah, we're gonna get covered in stuff. Not bad, could have been worse. You guys good? Oh, yeah, you got a little bit, okay, you're good. That just went low and is emptying these. Here's number one, straight through. Number two is pretty busted up. Number three's got a big cut in it. And then we actually did hit a fourth one this time. So that's it. So we busted four and the three to seven had enough energy to bust them all the way open, which is why we dumped so much eggnog. Okay, slowly we're making it through the pile. Um, we need something bigger though. Or maybe just something with a lot more ammo. You know, I was just noticing my shirt. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Ruger, Thompson and Smith and Wesson. That's a pretty great shirt. I know you were thinking that. And so far we have shot the Ruger and the Smith and Wesson. We still should probably shoot a Thompson. But before that, if you'd like to get this shirt, link in the description below. And if you order this shirt, we're giving something away for the third day of Christmas. These are Vortex Spitfire HD Gen 2s. We have uh, one that's a 3X and two that are 5X. They're pretty sweet little red dots. And if you would like one, we are going to randomly put them in orders if you order this shirt today only. We'll pick three people and send them out with a nice little Vortex red dot just for you. Link in the description below. Oh, I got a Thompson. <laughs> a little, little auto ordinance. Thompson, 45 ACP. And I was thinking we could just shoot one or we could shoot a bunch. Giddy up. I got eggnog all over me. Looks like it penetrated pretty well and did the things and that's how you can tell. That's the way it is. That's gross, look at that. It's a pretty good bullet, 45 ACP, my favorite flavor. My first time shooting my Scar Heavy. Left-sided charging handle? I feel like I don't need to actually tell you guys anything about this because everyone has seen this gun before. Jeez, this thing's cool. Let's do long range. That target's at four miles. Hey. 
Jeez. I like this thing. I pulled that one. Jeez. Dude, I don't remember what this video is about. I just like this scar. Let's load another mag. I'll be right back. I got like this close to the GoPro, but I think I didn't hit it. You okay there? Oh, good to go. Still recording. It's not stopping recording, so it may have taken just a little shockwave damage because it's definitely broken right now. Look. Oh, no, stop. It's just delayed. All's good. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty sure eggnog stopped all three lights. Yep. Hope you guys like the scar. Uh, I love it. You will see more of it on the channel. Appreciate you, Train Shop, for sending this to us. And don't forget, we got these awesome shirts for sale. If you want to get one, Link description below. Everyone who orders it today, I'm going to pick three of you and send you an awesome scope. Happy third day of Christmas. And if you want to come back tomorrow, we are doing the fourth day of Christmas with another new gun. And this one's sick. You definitely need to come check it out. Thanks for watching. It was Reg. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact line. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.